from the previous two videos we have been discussing about the iris data set and uh, we have actually discussed that um what is the significance of a machine learning algorithm how can we predict the data based upon the machine learning algorithm that is the k means clustering algorithm okay in this video primarily we are going to talk about the accuracy of the model okay so this is the machine learning model that we have created and we need to find its accuracy so for finding out the accuracy what is the thing that you need to keep in mind the thing is that what the machine learning algorithm has predicted if you take a look at this this particular parameter that is cluster is k means if you see this is a weird kind of an icon it is because it is not a, a generated icon it's um, not actually a text it's not actually a number but it is a generated icon an icon or a parameter that has been created by the machine learning algorithm okay that means this is the data that the algorithm has predicted always look for what parameter the algorithm has predicted right now over here what is happening is that the k means clustering algorithm is a supervised machine learning algorithm now what is a supervised machine learning algorithm uh it is an algorithm in which we already have the data and uh we try to compare our model with that already present data okay in this case our data is in this species parameter because we already knew that there were three species of flowers and uh, how they were looking so uh, we got it in this actual data that is the species parameter and the same thing we try to generate with the help of the algorithm so we generated this clusters k means parameter that means if we want to find out the accuracy of the model we have to compare these two things that is the actual parameter and the generated or the derived parameter right if you are still finding difficulty in understanding this you can simply understand this as this is the sheet which we used so in the colors part species is used right similarly in this ml algo algorithm the, in the colors part this clusters is used that means these two will be compared to find out the accuracy if the model has uh, generated all the correct answers then it would be a 100% accurate model otherwise the accuracy would differ okay so what we are going to do to generate the accuracy is we are going to create a new sheet rename it as accuracy okay here we are going to create a new uh, calculated field and name it as accuracy again now in this what we are going to do is compare these two so how are we going to compare let's just get the first parameter that is clusters k means and compare it with the second parameter that is the species parameter so if they both are equal then it would generate a true value otherwise it would generate a false value that's the simple code that i have written if you want you can just uh, throw in the if statement the logical statement and get all that correct incorrect or accurate not accurate any kind of the parameters but i'm fine with true false because what we are concerned with it's just the accuracy nothing else right click on apply click on okay now the accuracy has been generated it has got a bunch of true false data that means if the values are uh, same it would generate true otherwise it would generate false let's just get that get the accuracy over here so you see it has two values false and true now if you just generate the count of the iris into the text part it would tell you that how many true values are there and how many false values are there if you remember when we discussed about the iris data set we told you that there were total of 150 records so out of the 150 records 144 has been classified correctly by our machine learning algorithms and six have been identified as incorrectly so that is a pretty good accuracy score that we are getting right uh and um, that is the number of the records actually that we are getting correct if you want to find out the accuracy score how can you find it you can just go to this icon go to quick table calculation percent of total so true is 96% that means this is the accuracy of the model our model is 96% accurate furthermore what you can do is bring the accuracy into the filters and make sure only the true values are visible click on apply click on okay 
uh you can just uncheck its header so the accuracy is a 100% oh sorry for this you have to generate a calculated field instead of the uh, percent of total over here because that would give you 100% accuracy in the case of the true false values right so actually 96% is a pretty good accuracy for a model now this model is created you can use this model to uh, predict any new data now if you want you can create a dashboard out of it that's for the here uh, that's the actual data on the basis of the petal okay this is the ml algorithm or this is what our ml algorithm has uh, generated we can just remove one of these because we are happy with it furthermore i'm just going to change it to floating so i can bring it here right and i can also get this accuracy score as a floating part into here Uh, fine, I think that's good. Okay. Or a little bit more. Yeah. Now, if we just go into the presentation mode, this is what we are getting. This is the actual data. This is the algorithm. This is the accuracy, and these are these species. So that's the whole dashboard that we have created out of the machine learning algorithm, and that's all that you need to do in data science. In um, generating the visualizations and finding out their accuracy of the model etc now the thing uh, that must come to your mind is that um, one question that we discussed earlier was the importance of uh, naming them correctly right suppose i go to the ml i'll go we have clusters key means let's just remove that good valid group and here instead of iris setosa if i just uh, name it as just setosa so Setosa is a species name, right? I have named it as Setosa and let's just keep these two as it is. Click on apply, click on OK. Now what happens is if we go to the accuracy part, you see the accuracy has changed. Now my model is giving a 62.67% accuracy. Why? If you take a look at this calculated field, go to edit it. So it is directly comparing the species name with what we had in this k-means clusters, right? And if there is a slight difference in the spelling or if there is a even a slight difference in the casing or if there is a slight difference in adding the symbols, then it would change the results. It would classify it as false, right? So you need to make sure that you are not doing any kind of these um, mistakes. And you're getting the correct data for all this um, data in order to get the correct accuracy for your model because this is not the uh, standard way of getting the accuracy of the model this is something that we have created right so that's it now uh, this is a heat map uh, that i have generated the data basically that i have generated uh, what i have done is on the basis of petal length and petal width I have tried to classify it on the basis of the clusters. This is the cluster data. Uh, it is classified into cluster 1, it is into cluster 2, and it is in cluster 3. But the color part I have taken as a species. So you can see that some of this is Ophiris virginica, but it has been classified as orange color, that is Versi color, in our algorithm. And similarly, this is the Arrhenius data. So like this, you can find out that which data is erroneous and which is correctly identified by the machine learning algorithm. So that's all for this video and that's all for this analysis. Thanks for watching.